Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and today I'm going to talk about a brand new application that I found just the other day which has changed the way that I'm reading news on the web and it's called Feedly. Feedly can be reached by going to www.feedly.com and this is a Firefox add-on. This, this particular add-on works only with Firefox and they, they do recommend that you use Firefox 3 so that you can utilize a lot of the performance features within Firefox. Now it's currently in beta so it's not going to be completely stable for everybody but from what I've gathered and from what I've used so far this particular application is something that I had been looking for for a while. Now I'm a big Google Reader user. I use Google Reader to subscribe to many different websites through RSS. RSS is really simple syndication. Now with Google Reader it's a, it's a very powerful tool in that it utilizes um, keyboard shortcuts as well as many sharing mechanisms and easy ties into the Google atmosphere. Now people who use a lot of these desktop clients are not you know they're, they're not too keen on a lot of the web clients but you know there, there's a lot of room for you know for overlap here. I, I used to use a lot of desktop clients and a lot of web clients. What Feedly does I think is kind of bridges both into one web client. Now let's go ahead and take a look at it. Over on this tab here I have Feedly open and uh, the view that I have now as you can see with this uh, particular icon is called cover view and if you look at it it does kinda look like a magazine cover view. It has a bunch of images for some of these stories that have images and if you've ever used sites like my Yahoo and all these different sites which aim to give you a, an easy view of your RSS fees that is kinda what Feedly does the thing that I like about it the most is that you get that view you get that aesthetic behavior and you get that you know that user experience but you don't lose a lot of the power that you have behind Google Reader Feedly does tie into Google Reader. So if you share a story or recommend a story is what they call it within Feedly, it will share the story in Google Reader. If, you know, you add annotations, which I'm going to I'm going to show you in a minute, you know, those things will be able to be shared as well and that's coming soon. So let's go ahead and go through the interface. So that was the cover view and this is uh the default view and you can automatically change that if you want. So I'm going to go to what's new. What's new takes me to all of my RSS feeds and tells me what's the newest thing. And uh, it's broken up into several parts. It gives me the, the latest headline. And it's all done based on my favorites, which I have defined. When you first import your RSS feeds into Feedly, you can define which favorites or which blogs you read the most. So Feedly looks at that data and it uses its own little internal algorithms to determine what I might want to see first. And there's also this section called on the wall and this is one of the social aspects of Feedly. So let's go ahead and go to the wall. And these are all of the stories which are shared by my friends. Now how does Feedly know what your friends are? What you do is that when you first install the plugin, it's going to ask you to input some information optionally. You can input your friend feed information, which is what I did, or you can input your email address. And I think there's some other import options, and it will automatically go out to these websites and basically subscribe to your friends. And now I can see everything that my friend feed friends, that's a hard word to say, friend feed friends, are, are sharing either in Google Reader or in Feedly. So this is something uh, I have to confirm that. It might not be Google Reader and Feedly but definitely if they recommend something in Feedly I will see it. I will definitely see it on the wall and this is a great way to discover new fees, discover new stories and it gives you a social aspect. So that's very cool. Now outside of Google Reader you know Google Reader has some of these things so I'm not going to say that Google Reader doesn't have this but I think it was actually a very good addition. So on the right side here you see a list of people by icons. There's Louis Gray, there's Robert Scoble, uh, there's Chris Brogan. So there's a bunch of you know quote unquote famous people here. There's Chris Perillo. So all of these brands are easily recognizable within the uh, icon view. 
So at the top, I have a list of all of my tags. Now, when I first installed Feedly, it went to Google Reader. I have Google Reader here. Let me go to that. And on the left side, I have a list of all of my tags on the left side here. So I have news, Mac news, news, shared fees, blah, 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 tech news, tech deals, uh, technology, web development, web 2.0, blog roll. So over on Feedly, all of these tags are brought in, as you can see, along the top. And you can reorganize these by going into the settings. I'm not going to get into that right now. So here's another powerful feature of Feedly that I really like. I'm going to go to all. This is everything. Now you may have noticed that the view has changed. It looks a little bit different. It's just showing the titles. What Feedly gives you the ability to do is change the view. This drop down here, you can change it to mixed, titles only, picture and summary, picture grid, or entire content and line. Let me show you what mix looks like. Doesn't that look like the uh, What's New page? It's, it's mixed. It has a little bit of everything and then there's picture and summary and then finally there's picture grid and entire content inlined and that's one of my favorites entire content inline I'll tell you about that in a second so I'm gonna go back to titles only because everything if I look at everything it's gonna be a lot of data so I want all titles only and this is the way I customize Feedly to look within the application so I'm gonna go to tech news and here's the power I'm going to show you some power now. <laughs> Up here at the top, now, now this view, this is my favorite view, like I said, this is the entire content in line. Okay, so this this really reminds me of Google Reader. I'm going to go over to Google Reader and let's go to Tech News here. And that's the way my Google Reader looks. And what I do in Google Reader is that I use keyboard shortcuts. I go J, J, J. And it, it automatically goes down to the next unread story. Within Feedly, if you go to the More link and go to Keyboard Navigation, guess what? Keyboard shortcuts work in Feedly. You can go J to go to the next article, K previous article, space next unread article, shift space, so on and so forth. And you have all of these <laughs> very cool keyboard shortcuts. So let's go ahead and try it. I'm going to make sure the page is in focus. And look at that. Well, let me go to the top because it went to the top here. So I can quickly go through my feeds by using keyboard shortcuts. And this is the view that I'm very used to in Google Reader. So it's almost like I'm not missing anything. <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing. Uh, this, I really love this application. I really do. So and it tells me that I'm at the top if I keep hitting K. You saw that at top go up there. <laughs> On the right side, within each one of my tags, you can see all the individual feeds and how many unread articles also on each one of these pages there's so many features also on each one of these pages let's find one here if I change the view to something like uh, picture and summary you can tell to only view unread only but by default if I go to uh, entire content inline I believe it'll show you the the unread only by default so that's just some of the features that you have in Feedly. I'm going to show you one last thing and I'm going to quit because this is good. This could be a really long video because there's so much I like about it. I'm going to go into tech news and let's find something to annotate. I'm going to show you how to annotate a story. So let's go to remote control robots do battle. So I'm going to go ahead and drill down to this story. So within here you can see that it's from Engadget. I can save it for later and I can annotate it. And the way you annotate is very simple. I'm just going to do it for you. Say there's something in here that I want to annotate and talk about. So I'm just going to highlight this sentence and say, this is as seriously just watch these feet scamper about to try not to smile. We bet you'll lose it. The big fellow drops the massive leg hook but fails to connect. So I'm going to select that. And when I let go of the mouse, a little pop-up window comes up. And here, I can highlight that text. So I'm going to click highlight. Now that text has been highlight, highlighted, and I can add my own little note here. So I'm going to say, I didn't laugh one bit. Oh, wait. Yes, I did. <laughs> Watch it. So now I'm done. I have a note here, an annotation. It's numbered, so you can have more than one. 
and it, it automatically highlights it. So this is some of the features. If you ever use Digo, you know that they have annotation features here. And one of the things that Feedly is going to do is they're going to be able to extract these annotations and do things with them, such as in friend feed, add them as a comment when you share the item. So now that I've annotated this, I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut and recommend this. And to recommend something, I just hit R. And watch the recommend link when I hit R. Yep, see, it says undo recommend. So when I hit R, I didn't have to click anything. It recommended this article. And I can also tweet this if I'm a Twitter user, which I'm not currently. <laughs> and uh, some stories you can pull in the comments. Others you can't. So Feedly's working on that. But uh, if I go to TechCrunch, I know for a fact that anything with uh, TechCrunch, they can pull in the articles. So I'm going to go to one of these TechCrunch articles. And here are all the tech. You can see the comments right in here within Feedly. And you can add comments as well. So this is Feedly. I, I really think uh, I have just barely touched the tip of the iceberg with this tool. It's so powerful. I mean, at the, at, 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 on the surface, it looks like something that uh, that is for casual users but I, I gotta say that I've re really found this to be very powerful and uh, it, it complements Google Reader to some on um, some power that I can't calculate there's also a little screensaver let me show you that it's kinda cheesy at first <laughs> but stories just fly out from the browser in a screensaver format that's pretty much all it is so I, I like I said this is Feedly and uh, I highly recommend you give it a try. I believe the beta is still open to a few people. Um, I'm not sure how many, but go to Feedly.com, install the plugin if you have Firefox 3.0. Again, it only supports Firefox. And um, this will really change the way you look at RSS and reading news. I mean, this right here can easily bring RSS even more to the common man, like my Yahoo and all, iGoogle and all these other sites did. But it has so much power and so many hooks to existing social tools, I think it's really going to change things. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and I hope this uh, demonstration walkthrough of Feedly was entertaining. Enjoy.